Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about how to build a SharePoint form topology with the help of Auto SP Installer script or tool. So in this video we'll go through an overview of what is Auto SP Installer, what are the key prerequisites it requires, things like service accounts or domain accounts, how to build the configuration needed by this particular tool, how you go with installing with the help of this particular script and a brief demo around the same. As for me, I'm Yurish Arora. You can reach me at yurisharora.com. So let's get started. <clears throat> Auto SP Installer is a PowerShell based tool which automates the deployment of SharePoint on prem form topology like for 2010, 13, 16, and 2019. It has the ability to granularly reconfigure most aspect of the form and include some interesting features such as centralized form deployment, granular database naming, external configuration and more. The goal of SP Installer is to simplify this process so it, it will assist you with all the configuration including some of the more complicated configurations as adding additional web application or site collections. So how do I get this uh, particular tool or script? You can simply go to a dedicated URL, I think it's called autospinstaller.com now, or you can go to a GitHub location as listed here, as shown here, uh, to download the, the script. Okay, so let's kick it off with the discussing around the domain accounts that you need to have the, the service accounts ready as that's needed by this script. Um, the, it's basically a standard uh, list of service accounts that uh, you would know or anybody is aware of uh, with the SharePoint background or you can go and any uh, read the Microsoft article on uh, service accounts. So this is a standard list it could vary depending upon the kind of form you're building but the SP underscore form can be used as an installation account. I usually use a separate one called SP underscore installer or SP underscore admin uh, for installation purposes. Um, for a few of the things that you need to be mindful of are, I know, around the firewall settings. You have to manage those settings uh, when you're building some form topology. You can choose an option for auto admin login, um, which lets you reconnect uh, while your servers are getting rebooted, and also making sure that the web applications use the <coughs> claim based authentication. So as I mentioned, the SP Auto Installer is a downloadable zip file from the location given earlier. You can simply extract that uh, file, the zip content, and you'll see the, the two key folders within uh, the main folder called SP. One would be around your locations. So it could be a uh, location meaning the version. Um, so it could be 2013 or 2016. So SP slash 2013, 2016, 2019, depending upon the kind of form topology you're building and the one below is the actual tool itself, the script itself. The bottom three, especially the second last and the third last, uh, are the key ones. Let me just uh, do a pointer on that. So This here XML file, <coughs> you have to create a copy of that and uh, update it with your form topology configuration details. And Once you're ready, you simply drag and drop on this batch file and your installation will start on that particular server. And then you have to continue uh, doing um, the installation bit or the same drag and drop on another box uh, depending upon the number of servers you're adding in the topology. So if we specifically talk about this XML file, how do we get the configuration file built? Uh, that's the main key demo here. Uh, so let's let's discuss that. So the key thing is um, that the particular uh, um, location or the website gives you a, a default configuration XML file or if you have another one from another environment for example you can use that uh, to update it for your another environment. So I'll take you to the location here. As you can see here, I've gone to the autospinstaller.com. You can, let me just quickly run through this page. So you have an instruction here, a guide is given to you, what, what are the different folder structure, how, on how to run this and so on. There is a note here that absolutely no information about your form configuration is sent over to their servers. So that's, that's all good. Um, this is again another place to download the same uh, zip file and this middle one is what I, I was talking about the configuration side of things that you have this is what you have to choose to build the configuration so you are presented with two options 
essentially to use either a blank template to start with fresh or you can use an existing file if you have an XML file or configuration file with you. So in this demo I'm going to quickly use one of the, the files that I use building um, my lab environment. So once you load that, so this is the you know two server that I used uh, for building a 2016 form. Um, and then you you know once you have the servers, you click on the installation um, as the next option. You choose a prepared options here, and simply you know you can. It, this is very easy to follow. But in this case, just to give you a few run through of the settings, I've chosen this 2016 office uh, all offline install. You can choose. Uh, uh, offline one if you have downloaded, pre-downloaded all those prerequisite files or you can choose an online one, it's going to do it itself and auto login is what I mentioned earlier so if you choose this one it's going to use this account and password to uh, uh, log in itself and then you basically you know it's going to ask you what are the form account details, the database, any any alias you have it and different different managed accounts details so it's very uh, standard process so you simply uh, put the details there, any mineral configuration, so you can choose different options here around what sort of mineral you want to configure. So I've, this is for 2016, so you can again choose appropriate uh, details there. And after you're done with the, and there's, there's a login option as well, you can give a custom login path for IS, ULS and usage uh, logs, and it's going to uh, have those configured as a part of this uh, configuration details. Now in this case, I'm just basically trying to set up a portal uh, app, web app, web app, with its own path and so on. It's also got a root site collection and the two. There's another one with the managed path uh, site collection and a search one. Pretty standard stuff. <clears throat> and also you can configure the my site host uh, details as well. Now this is pretty standard logical details. So you should be able to easily fill this up. So I'm not going to go through details around that. But the idea is really how to build this uh, thing. What are the things needed here? Manage metadata, uh, user profile, you know all sort of services you can configure them the search service details secure store BDC app management and any other ones you needed here I think I chose even performance point in my case for this 2016 one and, and if there's a you know additional requirements you can explain that and once you're done here that's the place you have to come and and uh, 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 get the final file now it says here you have to resolve it because what I've done it I have put a dummy uh, link here a, a dummy uh, key uh, so it's not liking that so maybe I'm missing a number or something yeah so that's uh, that's so it's, it's pretty smart it's got some smart uh, validations in place so as you can see now if I go to the review what it has given you is this XML file so the content of that so you simply take the whole thing copy it and put it in a notepad and then uh, save it as a XML file and that's what you essentially use it uh, for when you run the installation so let's just uh, come back to our uh, um, uh, the place where we were before so these are the key three areas as I said number one you can you have to have the configuration file the XML file which you can build the way I've just shown you and the final one you review it and download that file uh, and then how do I use it for installation so what are the key things to do in the installation or how to use that XML file in the installation that becomes the main point so what do you do you would uh, take the the, uh, the zip file, the, the content of uh, uh, the zip file, which is the SP folder, and put it across all the servers. And you make sure you know you've got the appropriate access. You log in through the installer account. You have appropriate, uh, which has the appropriate access and so on. Then you go to the auto SP installer uh, um, folder, and then you drag that XML file that you built it on top of the uh, SP installer .bat and then that's where the installation starts. Let me see if I can quickly show you in one of my VM locations. So this is how the, the folder looks like. Again, auto SP installer. This is the key one, SP folder. And as I told you that you know there are different different folders here in the 16. This is how it's going to look like. So you have to have the installation media files to be put it under the SharePoint one. Make sure you do that. That is the very key one, important one. And in the automation one, this is the, the scripts that I talked about. So that's that's my custom file. All you have to do is drag it and then drop it on this batch file. And and that's it. The moment you do that, uh, on drag it on top of this batch file, the installation of the script will start. And then you have to essentially take this folder uh, to another form and, and run it uh, on that particular, uh, another sorry, another server in the form to run it on that one as well. And once you're done with the installation of uh, uh, installer uh, script, 
on let's say two form topology on both the servers both the SharePoint server once you're done with that <coughs> at the end that's when you start the the form configuration so um, in other words um, you know basically it's going to walk you through the different different steps so on the first one it, it is going to go and install all the files and uh, then it's going to ask you to run the form configuration then you say yes to it that's where it's going to start doing the service application installation and so on as I said this is all nicely mentioned in the guide details so you should be able to look at their website now why would I need to use it what are the key benefits of using this particular script so the configuration XML file okay, let, uh, of the auto installer uh, works like a checklist uh, and that's why you know you have a very clear understanding of the configuration that you're uh, installing it actually reduces the overall installation and configuration time and it's it's less manual because you know and less uh, prone to the errors because you have uh, pre-configured all, all configurations you have you have reviewed it you have checked it properly and that's where you actually start building the form after that uh, I just finished building one of the form topology and I found it to be you know pretty pretty um, uh, helpful uh, as it was so all automated I have to just keep on pressing next 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 to continue okay so that's where we are um, just to conclude recap the session so uh, and I gave an overview of uh, auto SP installer how to download that package what are the you know, service accounts you need to have it up front uh, of course you need to have the, the SharePoint media which is again a key thing you have to have the SharePoint media and it along with its uh, PID or the the key uh, to be put it on the product key rather to be used uh, during the installation uh, you have to extract the, the files out you need to understand what are those files what is the meaning of the XML file what is the meaning of bat file and how do you really configure that uh, XML file which I gave a small demo about and uh, how do you then use that XML and batch file combination to install it and I also gave you a brief uh, run through of the key benefits so that's all from me thanks thanks a lot thanks for watching mm -hmm.